Okay, so I need to say this. If you can't be grateful when you've got nature, nature <laughs> to sit in and enjoy, you've got nothing. You might react strongly to that, but that's what I believe. I'm lucky enough to live on a coast and I can get to a beach, to the ocean and the seagulls and the sand in a half an hour to an hour. And that's a gift and I'm grateful for that. Maybe you can't get to a beach, but maybe you can get to a park. Maybe you can get to the mountains. Maybe you can get to a stream. Anywhere that's outside of the busy urban environment, go there and sit in the space of nature and just be grateful that it exists. Because you know what? We can't control the fact that we live in this environment where we've got to hustle and work and work and hustle and sleep and pay bills and then do it all over again. It's really hard to get out of that on the, on a, in a day-to-day -day basis. I did a horrible job of it this summer. I did not come here to this beach to sit by myself with my chair and a book. I didn't do this all summer. Luckily, because of global warming, it's still really warm in October, which is now October 2024. And I can be here at the beach. It's about 72 degrees and it's beautiful. Um, but I didn't do this all summer. I didn't come and sit at the beach. I didn't drive here. I don't know what was wrong with me. Oh, I do know what was wrong with me. I was struggling with, struggling with burnout. I was struggling with my autistic burnout and I just wanted to be in my bed this summer. And I've got to forgive myself for that and not beat myself up over it. Oh, a bumblebee just landed on my bag. Crap, it's right by my feet. I hate bees. Go away. Go, 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 go. Okay. It's one of those big ones that doesn't even like fly in a sporadic way. It just flew straight. That scared the living daylights out of me. I'll probably edit that out. Where was I? I spent my summer in autistic burnout in my house, just resting. And I've got to forgive myself for that. I guess that's what I needed. But today, I needed to be here. And I almost didn't make it here today. I almost allowed myself to um, bend to the pull of responsibility. I took the day off of work and I allowed myself to sleep in that extra glorious hour till six in the morning <laughs> and uh, had my typical morning. And then my daughter woke up to start her day. She's a fresh college freshman. Um, she was doing everything in her power to get me to take her to college this morning to drive her there and i was doing everything in my power to say no 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 mom i have a blister on my foot i don't want to walk to the bus now nah, you'll be fine put on a band-aid mom i have a splinter on my foot um the the band-aid on the bottom of my foot isn't going to help I, I i really don't think i could walk today I think you'll be fine. You can do it. I did everything in my power. She left. Yay, I succeeded, right? And then 10 minutes later, she calls me on her way to the bus stop and said she was going to come back home, that she didn't think she could walk on her foot today. Oh, my, you've got to see this. Take a look. I hope you saw those birds, they're beautiful. Anyway, long story short, I picked her up because I didn't want her to miss school and I drove her to school. Okay, and then I promised myself, I'm gonna come home and I'm gonna get my 
poop together <laughs> and I'm going to come to the beach town that we like to come up to to spend a day when we like to get away. And I almost didn't make it. I almost allowed the overwhelm of figuring out what I needed to wear and figuring out what I needed to pack in my tote bag and figuring out which gas station to go to for the cheapest gas. I almost allowed all of those things to overwhelm me enough to not go. Now to some of you that may sound like absolutely silly. Just like, what do you mean a tote bag? Just like take yourself to the beach and sit on the sand. Just go to the gas station on the corner. Yeah, for some of you with a neurotypical brain, that might be an easy call. But for me, with my autistic ADHD brain, it's not an easy call. I fret about a lot of things. So I fretted about what to wear because our dryer just broke and I can't dry any of my clothes. So I fretted about that. Then I fretted about how I looked and what I was wearing because I'm not in a state where I'm happy with the way my body looks right now. And then I fretted about all of the things I needed to put in my tote bag. Which book was I going to take to read? Am I going to take my iPad so when I was at the cafe I could write or watch a video? Or was I going to take a blanket or a towel? Uh, would everything fit in the tote bag? Would my tote bag be too heavy to carry across the sand? Which bag would I put my beach stuff in and which bag would I carry to walk around the town with? These are all the things that were going through my head. I had virtually no gas in my car. So then the next thoughts were, hmm, which is the closest gas station that's the cheapest? Hmm, the closest gas station that's the cheapest was just too far away for me to get to because I had virtually no gas in my car. So I had to go to the expensive gas station. And then I fretted, hmm, should I fill up my car at this gas station and spend the extra money or should I just put in half a tank? and get on my way. These are all the things that get in the way of me having a day. But, but, I'm putting all that behind me because I made it here, I'm at the beach, and it's beautiful. Somebody, as you saw, put up these beautiful, like, teepee-like structures from all of the um, bark that came down here somehow. I guess it came, they all came out of the ocean. I don't know. And there's kids playing with them and it's beautiful. And before I came here, I got myself a fabulous lunch. I went to a fish house. And although I'm not a big fish eater, I don't not like it, but I never really full when I eat fish. I got um, a shrimp cocktail and hanger steak and ate it with a lot of butter. I'm an animal-based eater, so I'll make a video for you about that another day. I had that with a club soda, and it was delicious. It was so good. And then I walked to a thrift store and tried on some clothes. <laughs> Boy, was that a disaster. Because I forgot when I left the house that I was already unhappy with how I looked in my clothes. So I thought, ah, I'll just replace my clothes that I'm unhappy with, with other clothes that I can be happier in. Well, my body's just not cooperating right now, so um, nothing looked good. But I did find a pair of hot pink vinyl Doc Martens in my size, which is a size 10. A size 10, and they were only $70. So I tried them on, and they fit, and I thought these are so super cool. I just wanted something like fun and, and fabulous and whimsical. To add to my wardrobe and add to my style I'm trying to like really hone in on on how I want to present myself in the world now that I'm unmasking my autism and trying to just really be whoever I am at whatever point in time so I was so excited about these Doc Martens and I put them on and they were the most uncomfortable shoes I have ever put on my feet in my whole entire life they were horrible they were horrible. I can't even begin to tell you. And I was so disappointed because they were brand new at a, uh, like a used clothing store. 
a brand new pair of docks for $70. But I'm not just going to buy something just for the sake of buying it. If they were low tops, they probably would have been fine. But the high top around my ankle and my lower calf was just so, so, so uncomfortable. So I had to give in to my sensory issues and give up on the fabulous shoes. So I left that thrift store and walked up to the Goodwill that's on the main street that I was on. And I found this perfect little green left-handed journal with like watercolor paper inside. So I snagged that, that was $3.99. With the hope that as I help myself get through my autistic burnout, that I'll start doing some watercolor painting again. Nothing amazing, just playing with watercolors in a journal. So I picked up that and then I walked to the little cafe that's about a block away and got an iced green tea and a homemade ginger cookie. Now, I don't usually eat sweets. I'm an animal based eater and I stay away from sugar. But today I just felt like I wanted it. So the cookie was delicious and the tea was delicious. But here go the sensory issues again. The caffeine in that particular green tea is really strong. And I felt my body absorbing it immediately. And I got a headache immediately. I felt my brain kind of whizzing a little bit too fast. So I only drank about a quarter of the tea, but it was delicious nonetheless. So while I sat there, I just kind of people watched and it was nice. Usually I go to this town with my, with my mic um, or my kids when my son is in town. And that's a pleasurable experience too. But this time it was different because it was just me and I could sit and enjoy people without the need to feel like I had to be talking to anybody. And then after that, I drove over here to the beach and this is where I am now. So I think I started this video talking about gratitude and that's where I'm going to end it. We really need to be grateful for all of the little moments because if we allow ourselves to get stuck in the busyness of every day, and we just go and go and go, we're going to break. Now, I'm grateful for my job that I have this job. I'm grateful for the experiences that that job has given me, one of which I've talked about in one of my videos that you can find in my playlists. But I absolutely have to give myself time to sit and do nothing at the beach or at the park or in my new watercolor journal. I absolutely need to do that. And I absolutely need to be grateful that I live a life that allows me some time to play at the beach or at the park or in my watercolor journal. So don't forget to be grateful. I'm grateful for all 877 of you who have subscribed to my channel. I'm grateful to the countless numbers of others of you who watch but have not yet subscribed. <laughs> I'm grateful for all of you that engage with me in the comments. I'm grateful for those of you who understand that right now at this time in my life, I, I can't answer all your comments, but I'm reading all of them and my heart is warmed every day. I'm grateful for the close friendships that I'm making from some of you who have, or with some of you who have been regular commenters. Look up in the sky, can you see them? Hopefully you saw them flying by. <laughs> I'm grateful for those birds. Just like, I'm telling you this because like I've not been focusing on what I'm grateful for and I've been in a really like poopy mindset lately and coming here is like a great big reset so don't forget gratitude don't forget to make time to find it if you're having a hard time make time to find what to be grateful for i'm going to end it here i'm going to turn my chair around and face that ocean i'm going to read my book 
and then I'm going to head home. Thanks for being with me for a bit. See ya.